Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Wheel of Fortune Mystic Tarot. My name is Nia and in today's video we will be connecting with your higher selves, with your spirit team and the universe to find out when your struggles and pain will finally come to an end and what you can do to make that happen faster and also probably what you can learn from um, your struggles and your pain. So as you can see you have these three groups to choose from today. For group number one, we have this lovely heart. Um, well, there's a heart on this card and it says impulse. And with it, we have a lapis lazuli heart crystal. There is also um, two doves on it and a waterfall and a full moon. This card is so gorgeous. I hope you can see it properly. Then for group number two, we have this very uh, mystic spiritual looking card here it says 4c and with it we have a amazonite crystal point you can see some stairs here a clock full moon symbology a lantern very very beautiful and for group number three we have the strength card and look how the rainbow is falling right on top of the word on it is a ship that's facing a storm and with it we have this lovely yellow quartz crescent moon all you need to do now as always is to focus your attention on today's topic close your eyes take a deep breath Pause the video if you have to, and when you think you're ready to see which one of these three groups calls your attention the most, do not overthink it. Let your intuition decide, and then you can have a look in the description box down below where you find the timestamps for each individual group. So I'll see you there. Welcome to your reading group number one, everyone who resonated with the Impulse Heart card and the Lapis Lazuli crystal. So we want to find out today when your struggles and pain will finally come to an end and also what you can do to make that happen faster and what you can learn from your hardships. Um, and your suffering. So just keep in mind that this is a reading for a collective group of people. So not every single detail might resonate with you. Only take what does feel fe peaceful about what doesn't. It will be for someone else. Um, but let's get right into it. I'm guessing very friendly and loving vibes here from your spirit team. So your spirit team is, according to your belief system, the highest power that you believe in, the divine, I'm just going to call it the universe, your angels and your spirit guides and other friendly beings that watch over you and support you. Also, please <laughs> look at the rainbow here. You know, nothing's ever a coincidence. And it was very, very gloomy today. It was snowing and then all of a sudden the sun came out. So just let that be a reminder that when you think you are completely lost in the dark, things might shift very quickly and unexpectedly and you might see that light and be in the light at the end of the tunnel. You might be in the midst of a thunderstorm but then all of a sudden it stops and you see a beautiful rainbow. I'm getting miracle energy here and miracles that are kind of um, brought upon by very benevolent, loving powers that see your suffering because your heart has been suffering a lot so this could go back quite um far behind on your <laughs> on your karmic journey in this lifetime so your struggle might have started um during childhood i'm hearing for some of you even when you were in your mother's womb you already witnessed her suffering and pain and it's been scientifically proven by now that mothers don't just give nutrients to the baby they are growing they also affect the baby with that with her emotions you know um so i'm getting ancestral lineage patterns and trauma for some of you here so know that your pain is probably something that 
many of your ancestors have been trying to heal and they couldn't and it kind of just became something very intense and unbearable and you put that burden on your shoulders but it's now time for you to break free um i'm getting the words miracle and mercy you know you might have lost faith in god and i'm not blaming you i'm on the same boat with you you know um you've just see nothing but darkness and when you prayed your prayers weren't heard at least that's what you thought okay so they know how much you've been through on the other side the higher powers and they want to just have mercy on your soul and on your poor heart i see a lot of crying um and things have really been going downhill for you probably recently maybe the last few years were extremely tough and guys yes why well, that is your personal fate and karma know that globally so many people have been going through this ever since the bad p started uh four years ago um you know so much has been going on that I can't talk about, but so much suffering and pain and things really going downhill drastically. And many of you feel like you have reached rock bottom, like it can't get any worse for you. But there is hope, there is hope. And um, I'm seeing this heart like a keyhole and it looks really beautiful. This looks like a keyhole to me. So something is going to be unlocked and what's going to be unlocked is your freedom. You breaking free from ancestral lineage baggage and bad karma okay because they have mercy they want to have mercy on your soul and um um hold on i'm getting a psychic download yeah you have been feeling quite moony in the sense that um your pain has caused for you to feel so detached from the physical world and everything that's going on. Well, yes, you might be deeply involved in the physical because you have health issues or financial issues or just very tangible issues. Your soul um, has become so fed up with this life that you wish nothing more but than to like lose the physical and finally transition into a better world if you know what I mean. And that being said, I'm not um, a health professional like a psychologist or a psychiatrist or a doctor. I'm a medium. I only give spiritual advice. If you're struggling, please go seek professional help as well. All right. Um, but yeah, I see I see um, some deceased loved ones and soulmates from past lives watching over you. And for those of you who have been grieving and experiencing loss, know that you will see them all again. And this cycle of death and rebirth is one that we have been going through for, I don't know how long, eternity maybe, because the soul's life is eternal. So um, just know that whoever you lost is waiting there for you in the other dimension, but um, it's hopefully not your time to join them yet, but you will. And um, you know, during these very tough times um, globally, the veil gets thinner and thinner. And here for you, the keyhole to the other side gets thinner and thinner. And um, some a way for you to um, come to terms with your pain and your very hard life is for you to see that without it, you wouldn't have become very spiritual. And that now that it, your pain and suffering has peaked, you will be rewarded and I don't I know that it's probably not worth it and that you would rather have an easy non-spiritual life than a very painful one but spiritual one but you know you're gonna gain some abilities or you will have some beautiful experiences because of that pain so nothing is in vain and um, it's gonna end it's gonna end very soon and it's because of mercy because the higher powers of mercy on your soul and on your heart and also because you have someone on the other side who's really literally rooting for you and sending you beautiful vibes and energy i love this image so much so feel free to screenshot it and now it's raining and snowing again so 
I really want you guys to understand what a beautiful gift that was. The sunshine and the rainbow reflections at the very beginning for your reading, okay? So please take that as a sign that someone is really trying to push the dark clouds away from you and give you some moments of sunshine. And you should have seen those, um, you know, why? yes, every day is so difficult. You must have had little moments of um, joy and hope, okay? If you pay attention to the synchronicities um, and the beautiful signs and gestures, because someone, okay, someone's coming through and they're telling you, I love you so very much. For the vast majority amongst you, this will be a deceased loved one, can also be a pet, guys. Animals have souls just like us. And yes, animals can reincarnate as humans and vice versa. So they are equal to us. So this can be a pet and they are just as mighty and powerful as um, humans on the other side. Okay, so um, for the vast majority, this will be a deceased loved one. Um, maybe it could also be like an ancestor. They love you so much. They have so much compassion for you. So they're doing something for you. If that doesn't resonate with you, then it's an angel, definitely an angel getting angel vibes and please um look at the clouds <laughs> they show you um you know to support you things in the sky in the clouds in the night sky um and they might send you hearts or i don't know what your thing is with your person on the other side your angel your guide god a loved one um you will already know this like for me i see hearts everywhere perfectly shaped hearts everywhere you might see stars everywhere or you might hear songs specific ones everywhere or it might be angel numbers pay attention to those because your people on the other side are trying so hard to give you comfort and um, hope okay very very beautiful but you are so loved and even if you think you're not worthy of love you are with all of your flaws you know there's someone who sees past that and who sees that when you think you're unworthy it's just a result of you um you know becoming a pain um driven or I don't know how to say this like a person who has had so much pain and suffering in their life that um you're not always your best version but you're still so loved okay still so loved and appreciated and this is so beautiful that it almost makes me cry so I'm going to continue with some or uh, no sorry with some tarot cards now but I'm going to get back to these lovely oracle cards that my friend Diane sent us so thank you so much Diane and if anyone else would like to send in some cards or crystals I have an Amazon wish list link down below these are very beautiful but I want to continue with tarot now I got these myself those of you asking, this is the mystic tarot, but it's German, so it's mysticious tarot. And silver, silver, um, silver, gray, and blue might be very significant for some of you, especially the word blue, okay, blue. So please, spirit team of group number one, when will the pain end? When will this mercy be played out? I'm going to have to from this maybe whoa okay ah uh, the eight of wands and i love this imagery so much look this is your freedom this is you breaking fle free flying away okay you might not have wings to fly and you might think you're the complete opposite of angelic but you have these umbrellas transporting you so this is about swift movement so this is going to happen very soon for you now it's a timeless reading i don't know when you find this so say between eight weeks and eight months from now you will have shifted and if not you will already be on the way to something much much better and look how many umbrellas there are there are so many loving beings and spirit helping you you might feel very alone physically but you're never alone spiritually all right so here we have the two doves again by the way which i love and look how they're facing each other guys there is no coincidence these sweet loving forces really want to be seen by you so please appreciate them and show them gratitude i'm being shown the letter r so that might be the initial of your loved one or your angel or yourself r for some of you right but this is going to happen soon and all you need to do is to just hold on hold on okay 
um, stay hopeful, but hold on, don't give up, don't give in, just make sure you live every day as it comes and um, yeah, you will be taken care of, just hold on, they're saying hold on, hold on and hold your head up high, okay, and don't be afraid of the dark. Now, um, yeah, I hadn't asked the question, but I need to take this card, it just fell out. I love this so much, so this is judgment, okay, judgment, and we have this angelic lady here. Um, this reminds me of New York, so maybe you are from a big American city on the East Coast, that could be, and definitely, um, some ancestors are showing up here, female ancestors, if not, definitely angels. And, you know, judgment, a higher calling is now, can, a higher power is in your favor, okay? This is part of your karma. So know that your suffering hasn't been in vain. If you're still able to love, you're good, okay? If you're still able to seek higher seek the higher purpose and seek answers instead of hating everything you're good okay you haven't failed and now it's that you know is that time for you to um be what what do you call that when a judge um gives a sentence to set someone free that's literally what's happening to you like a very high power an angel an archangel or the divine is giving you that sentence that you are now free okay and this is so beautiful so guys please really claim that energy claim it be grateful for it and see yourself as someone who for example has been on death row without being guilty and now finally the judge says you're free you're not guilty you're free you can fly away Ooh, this is very emotional for me and see these glitter pixie dust things here that just means that you're not alone. You have so many spirits around you all the time and they really want to talk. They're just letting these cards slide out so effortlessly without me really having to shuffle. So it, this is going to be effortless. It's going to soon end and it's going to be effortless. You just hold on. And we have the full card. And again, I love that so much for you. This is about breaking free and about finally um, having an easier life. You are probably someone, if you're like me, from early childhood on, you had to be an adult. You, you saw things no child should have ever seen. You had to grow up way too fast and take on responsibilities no child should ever take on. If that doesn't resonate, you know, translate that to how it fits your timeline and situation. It was just way too much and you couldn't have fun in life and you still can't. Maybe it's a disease that stops you from having fun or it's people around you. I don't know. But now it's time to have fun and you're not allowed to transition and go to the other side before you haven't had some fun here on this in this world. And you might think it's not possible. Stop that thinking because that will cause blockage. Just say, yes, I deserve this blessing. I deserve mercy and I deserve some fun. Love yourself enough to grant you this fun that you're going to have. And um, also something that will help you a lot and I know it's triggering and only the spiritually mature will be able to do that but see your enemies and your pain and your struggles as a lesson that your soul chose to go through before incarnating if you don't know what I'm talking about educate yourself about this we make karmic contracts with our spirit guides before we come here we choose to go through pain in order to experience pain because we want to experience all there is and if we don't know what pain pain is we can't reach illumination okay and also you know sometimes we have bad karma and we we I don't like the word punishment at all but we need to see the negative side um that we caused to someone in our past lives you know we need to experience what is it like to be the victim of that you know what I mean um of, of course this will not be right for everyone but just just trust that everything has purpose and a reason and if you truly open your heart to that it will remove the blockages that keep you from having fun because you deserve so much fun you deserve to break free and really visualize guys um and that will help so much what would you do if you were not in this situation you're in right now like if you were not with that toxic person or if if you were healthy what would you do 
visualize that and know that it's going to happen for you because you so deserve it. I really, really love that. Let's get some more tarot cards about when it will end, what you can do. Wow, the tower. Guys, you have three major arcana cards in a row now. So this is definitely something karmic. Um, and if you haven't, then definitely watch my ancestral lineage healing reading on this channel. But look at the tower card. So you, you are in this situation where you have hit rock bottom or you feel like you're going to explode because the pressure is too much. You really think this is it. You're now going to lose it and this is going to be the end of you and there is no light inside. Yes, there is because you have a big, massive angelic power holding you together. You will not break. You will not break. This is not your end. Just trust it. And I see hearts, okay, in this explosion. I see little red hearts everywhere. Someone, oh, I hope I'm not going to cry because this resonates deeply with myself. So you're still here and this is resonating with you know that we are in the same situation someone here has been holding you together all this time you have never been alone and someone loves you so much that they will make sure that nothing happens to you that is more than what you can handle and if you're like me you have had to handle hell okay but someone loves you. So please accept that love into your life. And just because you can't see them doesn't know they haven't been with you. Please be grateful for these, these loving souls that love you so very much. They're with you. And this is not going to escalate. Your worst scenario visions are not going to come true. So stop feeding them. Stop giving them your energy. Now feed the best case scenario. Write yourself a fairy tale Okay, you are the main character and write the happy end that you want. That's how you will manifest it. Do that. And someone's holding you, okay? You've never been alone. Someone's holding you. Nothing will ever happen that is worse than what you can handle. The star. And this is the next major arcana card. I hope you realize how special this is. And it came out in the reverse. So you are still going through this deep, deep depression and hopelessness. And it's justified if people know your story, no one will ever judge you for feeling the way you do right now. This also indicates health issues, all right? But look, this fairy, she looks vulnerable and naked, but she has a magic wand in her heart and there's a bright shining star on the tip and she has delicate wings. You still have wings to fly away or a magical umbrella, okay? It will get better, but you need to trust it. You need to trust that this person has been holding you together ever since you were born. You need to trust that someone up there is like stepping in um, on your behalf now and saying, mercy, mercy on this poor soul. You need to believe it, okay? And that's when magic will happen. You can have that fairy tale happy end, all right? So if you're still here, please support me and this channel so that other people like you will find me and give it a thumbs up. Also, comments help so much. If you don't know what to say, drop a purple heart or a blue heart or a magic wand or a fairy to manifest and claim your um, fairy tale happy ending. And if you are new and would like to join the purple heart tribe, please subscribe. I'm going to get more of these um, ritual dream cards now. They're so lovely. I love these. And look at the imagery. Stars raining from the skies. And that always reminds me of this German fairy tale, uh, Stern Marie. It's like the Star Mary. Star Mary is what it's called. And she, she gives away everything and she suffers a lot. And she's left with nothing. And that's when stars rain from the skies and they're actually gold. And that's how she's rewarded. So let that fairy tale sink in, okay? When you thought... When you think right now that you have nothing left and you lost everything, that's when the skies, the divine, the heavens will interfere and help you out. It's going to be raining golden stars for you, for us, because I'm in this too with you. I need to focus now on spirit. Spirit, please give some more guidance and advice here for the end of the suffering. Can you give a specific timeline? Observe. Yeah, 
this is only for the spiritually advanced, but you know, many philosophies and religions teach this become the observer when it gets too much, just kind of dissociate and observe your pain. Don't be the pain, don't become the pain, don't nurture the pain, don't manifest the pain, observe the pain. Yes, it's still here, you're still hurting, but don't become it, okay? Just see yourself, yes, I suffer, but it will stop. And look, you are carried, you are sheltered, focus on the shelter. And um, here's a key. And I told you, it's going to be unlocked for you. And the divine is going to do that for you. And I told you eight weeks to eight months from now. So um, you can, you always have to trust in divine timing, of course, but you're going to make the um, waiting time a lot easier on yourself if you do what I told you to do and you might be able to see the end faster also if you do what I told you to do nourish I told you nourish this full energy there's a very beautiful lady standing in a paradise garden there's a yellow flower a bird nourish the positive thoughts and trust that you are protected that someone's holding you together you have probably unintentionally been nourishing your pain by um identifying with it too much identify with your happy end here identify with that nourish it um create a vision board um do um written manifestations like do something to really nourish the positivity and the mercy that's coming for you forgive and a big, big key factor, and people get so triggered, but if this triggers you, it's probably your message. You need to forgive. Forgiveness doesn't mean that you approve of horrific things that were done to you. It means you accept that they are part of your fate and your chosen fate and your karma. And you see how it shaped you into the person that you are today. Love this person. Love yourself. You can only love yourself if you accept the past and the people that shaped you, even if they were mean to you, okay? forgive and forget and move on you can't move on if you don't accept and um, forgive in that sense okay so you have a lot to work on here still it seems like the majority of you you might be uh, different because it's a collective reading but i want to give you one last heartfelt message from your spirit team okay um for this waiting time until you will finally see your pain come to an end, where you will be freed and liberated and where you will have a fresh new start, which will be your happy, happy um, ending fairy tale style. So please, and I, I want to ask these loving spirits that are always with you, what do you want to say to group number one? What will give them strength in the meantime? strength you might want to choose if you're still here um the strength group which i believe was group number um three strength because you you need strength like myself and this reminds me of a peacock here so many colors so bring more color into your life spoil yourself a little bit every day do what you can do to raise your vibration buy yourself something nice okay treat yourself like a little child you know how little children get rewards for i don't know being brave or good treat yourself like that treat your inner child to something and trust that this light is guiding you home home is your your new chapter the happy chapter and it says you are a living work of art a most sacred and eternal being a multi-dimensional field of energy with no beginning or end you are floating you are a floating island of consciousness swimming within a cosmic sea of love live the dream dare to be extraordinary this is everything that i told you to do here okay you are eternal don't think that this doomed or maybe you think you're cursed life is everything you are an eternal being and happy times are coming okay they are definitely coming and you're not going to drown in this ocean okay you have a safe boat that's going to bring you to the shore and live your dream visualize your dream okay and don't hesitate to make it very extraordinary and magical because you're going to have it it's yours all right and also maybe um use art to um 
get distracted or to purge your negative emotions or to kind of practice this forgiveness, music, arts and crafts, I don't know, dancing. But yeah, guys, this is all that I have for you. I really hope you enjoyed it and that it helped you. Leave a thumbs up if that's the case. Otherwise, take very good care. I hope I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye. Welcome to your reading group number two, everyone who resonated with the 4C card and this um, Amazonite crystal point. So we are about to ask your spirit team, your angels, guides, ancestors, the divine, the universe, when your struggles and pain will finally come to an end, what you can do to make that happen faster and what you can learn from it, because everything has a purpose. Um, just know that this is a reading for the collective, so not every single detail will resonate with you. Only take what does feel peaceful about what doesn't. It will be for someone else. Let's get right into it. So first of all, the color um, turquoise, greenish, bluish might be very significant. Again, this is the throat chakra, so truths will be spoken. If you have some issues in your throat area, please go see a doctor. I am not a medical professional. I'm a medium giving spiritual advice only, but know that there's a lot that you can do um, spiritually for your physical health issues, your emotional health issues. And if you have issues around your throat, um, it's because you suppress a truth within or something or that you have been lied to. So there is something about a truth that you need to hear. Um, part of your suffering could be that you have never been able to live or speak your truth, to be authentic, or that other people haven't been truthful to you. Um, or that you say like, this can't be true, this is a nightmare. So there is something about truth, all right? But the good news for you guys is that your end is in the foreseeable future. And also um, your spirit team is telling me that you kind of, if you ground yourselves and, you know, channel information, which everyone can, you will see the solutions and the whys and, you know, all of that. Um, and this is not a great mystery. So th there is like a <clears throat> tangible solution to your problem or a practical one. Um, I see this downward spiral and I see this clock symbology and the phases of the moon. Um, hold on, let me just tune into that imagery, what that means. Your um, journey is a very fated one, okay? And you have already ticked off some very important steps on your karmic journey. If you haven't already, then watch my reading. Um, it's titled Your Life Path and Where It Will Take You. It will give you more answers. And also my Akashic Records reading. Watch that as well. Um, even if you don't understand right now um, what your accomplishment is supposed to be you have already ticked up ticked off some major major boxes on your um, to-do list in this lifetime and you know we make karmic contracts with our spirit guides and other soulmates before we come here we choose to go through certain issues and pain in order to learn in order to heal karma and there are at least two big big things that you have ticked off and you might be left thinking that you could probably, hopefully you know what this is, maybe a very toxic relationship or um, a deep blow of fate that you suffered in your past and you think um, it didn't end well or um, you are still looking for closure or something. Even though your brain might think you didn't succeed or pass this lesson, your guides are saying, yes, you did, you passed the lesson. And often the lesson is just that you experience something because you will take that experience with you. We come here to experience all there is, the good and the bad. And if you just experience what it is to be in that situation, you are one step closer to enlightenment. So please embrace the hardships that will help you to move on a lot. And by the way, this reading and actually my entire channel is only for the spiritually mature and advanced. So only continue to listen if you're up for that. Okay, if you want something lighthearted, then um, watch a different channel. 
I always give people genuine guidance and often that involves things that are hard to understand or that people don't want to hear. But only that will help you. Um, and time is ticking. I'm hearing time is ticking. So either you are impatient or your guides are telling me you are supposed to move on and um, actually finish something that you have been um, dealing with until now because there's a new challenge coming and it will be a good one because this reading is about the end of some suffering so phases you go through phases the end of a phase the end of a cycle and know that you are never alone you might feel physically alone but spiritually you're never alone there's always someone by your side guiding the way all right so trust that in your most scary and challenging moments you have never been alone there's always someone with you and if sometimes you wonder how did i survive that or how did i get through well it's because of that being your angel your guide your ancestor the divine right by your side okay and this next um cycle that you are about to start is going to be a bright one and I will ask my tarot cards what that means, bright. A bright, you have a bright future ahead. And I love that for you. So things might have been very dark or confusing and foggy, but things will get very bright. Bright. And I love that, guys. Claim that, please. Bright future sounds really good. And um, I see this, yeah, time, the, the divine timing is coming. So um, your end the end of some struggle and pain is pretty much happening now. And if you can't see it yet, it's going to happen very, very soon because you need to be freed for this new chapter. OK, they, they really want to talk about this new chapter already. But just know that the pain you have been facing has prepared you for this bright future So embrace the pain. And hopefully you've learned from it, because the more you've learned and the more you find acceptance, the brighter your future will be. So, yeah, your pain has prepared you. It's like going through boot camp, you know. Um, boot camp helps you get fit. And some people, you know, they train for, for a battle, for example, um, combat sports, you know. Those people get bruises and they have sore muscles and joints and bones and all of that. If they didn't go through that, they would not be able to compete. So see your pain and hardship as that. You are a warrior. You are a fighter. OK, and it's prepared you for something big that's coming. And I feel like um, this has to do with human fate and karma. You know, the world is shifting. You'll be part of the new world and you will bring your experiences that you've learned and grown from with you to uh, tackle something new. So um, the end to your pain will probably, I don't know when you find this reading, it's um, timeless, but most of you will be watching in real time. So 2024 will definitely be the end of your struggle and pain. It might continue a little bit into 2025, but I'm seeing um, springtime 2025, the latest, you will be completely freed from it, from that baggage, because it's then when you'll be starting something new. Okay, and 2026 will be your year, but it's something big, something huge. So I will ask about that. Um, I'll continue with tarot. These um, oracle cards we're going to come back to later. They were gifted to me by my friend Diane. Love you, Diane. Thank you. And if anyone else would like to send in some cards or crystals, I have an Amazon wish list link down below. I want to ask your spirit team now, please, for group number two about the end of the pain um, and about this new thing that is coming. What do they need to know, please, spirit team? I'm being shown feet and toes. Um, does someone tickle your toes at night? That is very random. So maybe someone tickles your toes at night. It's not um, a poltergeist or like a mean spirit. It's, it might be your body waking up. Okay, so growing pain. Okay, there you go. Any kind of pain that you have in your body, see that please as growing pains, growing pains. You're growing something and no pain, no gain. Trust your pain will go away. And um, yeah, growing pain. 
shift your perspective because you're going to be on top. King of um, Discs is called in this deck, um, which is the King of Pentacles. You're going to be on top like a king. And while you might be female watching this, this is divine masculine energy. So gender doesn't matter. It's just all about the energies. You'll be on top of the game. And this is probably talking about a new career where you'll be very recognized for it, where you will have a lot of authority and a lot to say. And um, you will be able to live from that and be doing very well. Okay, you'll be very recognized with it for it. So trust that your pain is going to prepare you for something big. And you know, my intense pain and hellish life prepared me for these tarot channels that I'm now doing. So it might be something similar for you. And I don't know what your pain is and how you will turn that into your profession, but really work on seeing your pain as something preparing you for something bigger and then you will help it go away. And don't hate your pain. Thank it for being there. And that's a big challenge, but, you know, it will help. So you'll be on top of the game, I'm hearing. What's coming for group number two and when? All right. So the three of swords. This is about your broken heart. Okay. And this poor guy is literally crying blood. Um, and again, this is hard to take for those who are not real truth seekers but look at how these swords are actually feathers so know that your pain is actually something divine in the sense that you chose it before coming here it's in your karmic soul contracts with other people with the divine you chose this okay and you will see and recognize the beauty of your pain and how it has shaped you into this wonderful powerful person who will apply the wisdom they gained because of that pain, to do something great with it. Please change your perspective on the pain. And, um, you know, it might be relationships, people who hurt you deeply. Yeah, people who hurt you deeply, as I'm talking about that. For, for some of you, you might have had a really toxic romantic life, or maybe it's family, you know, people close to you, they really stabbed you in the heart. And the fact you took that pain and you're still here and you're trying to learn from it is going to really help you um i'm seeing i'm hearing three years or something so something could have happened around that timeline three years ago that really deeply hurt you and wounded you but you have come a long way okay and it's part of your journey and that pain might have peaked up recently but it's for you to look at it one last time and then it will go away Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Love it. Eight of discs. And what a beautiful picture, butterfly. You could be one of my blue butterfly people who find the blue butterfly in many of my readings. Um, you are the creator of your own destiny. She is painting these butterflies' wings. Butterflies stand for transformation. And the Eight of Pentacles is again one of a card that um, symbolizes prosperity, physical prosperity material prosperity so now that whatever lack you have been through next year by springtime it will not be there anymore you will have an abundant physical and um, financial life or maybe this is about um, some different kind of stability maybe your living situation or your relationships but make sure that you create that for yourself because there is free will and you can only create it if you embrace the painful experiences and relationships and if you really learn from them and if you really have become a different person from it in the positive sense but I love this card so much mm. I think I'm going to draw from these because they're very slippery they are um, the Mystisches Tarot by the way German um, tarot cards for those of you wondering king of wands guys this is fire this is divine masculine energy you're gonna be on top of the game so trust that and this reminds me of battle drums so your energy is fire fire and earth um you did not burn okay you rose from the ashes like phoenix so your 
you'll um, end, okay, of the pain and struggle will be like that, um, that phoenix hat, okay? He rose from the ashes and he's extremely powerful. So you're not, you're not done here. You're not done here, okay? You're not dead. You're not done. You're going to rise from those ashes and from the pain and hardships. And you're going to be a true king. You can be a king even if you are a lady, okay? It's just you will have a lot of power. And here we have the nine of wands. And I love the symbology on this as well. This looks like stitches to me. So guys, I say this a lot. Your scars, whether they be physical or emotional, they are battle scars, battles that you fought and that you should be proud of, that you survived them, okay? And you will be at peace with that pain if you decide to look at it and embrace it and learn from it. You will be at peace in the near future, at peace with the people who hurt you, with your enemies, with those situations. You're going to be at peace with it, okay? And, you know, roses have thorns. There is no beauty without pain. Just let that sink in. There are so many analogies in, um, in nature. But um, don't stress that the pain is going to kill you. It's not. It's not. You're going to heal. Your wounds are going to heal. And I'm hearing, if you found this reading in real time, in the foreseeable near future, and it's already happening. It's already happening now. But, you know, in a year from now, you will be a completely different person. All right. It's already happening. But you won't see the full extent of the end and, you know, that glimpse of your new life until springtime 2025 wow if you're still watching you're one of the real ones please leave a thumbs up it's so important that you help other people like me like me and you find me and um comments help a lot so please give a thumbs up and leave a comment if you don't know what to say drop a rose emoji or a purple heart and if you are new and would like to join the purple heart tribe please subscribe gratitude this is triggering but if you truly practice it it's going to help be grateful for those hardships and for your own strength also like show yourself gratitude don't see yourself as a victim look up to yourself for being such a warrior okay for being a survivor and for being someone who has not become bitter that energy will really help you paint that beautiful picture of your future Gratitude is one of the highest frequencies. So maybe listen to gratitude frequency music. And um, I'm hearing something about building sky castles. Don't hesitate to manifest and don't let anyone tell you it's uh, something like a sky castle you're living in. No, no, no. Like manifest and you're going to have it. Um, flow and just go with the flow, you know, accept the cycles, accept your fate and purpose. The more you resist, the more blockage and pain you cause, the more you just allow for it to happen, the easier the journey will get, you know, and you're not alone, you're never alone. And um, you might get a lot of answers from genuine astrology, not airy, fairy, unicorn fart astrology, genuine astrology that challenges you and that speaks the truth, okay? Um, just know that there are answers to everything, but you will only find them if you are open to um, hearing the truth, okay? But it's coming. Just let it flow. It's already happening. It's already happening. And you're like a plant that grows slowly, by the way, but slow growing plants are often the most beautiful so if you see other people growing a lot faster than you doesn't mean they're better it just means they're not as intricate and sophisticated and big as you don't compare yourself freedom love it do some of you come from group number one um this is double confirmation for you again to doves freedom you will break free from painful old patterns okay you fly away from it and you are already flying you just don't see the destination yet but it is absolutely happening for you visualize that lovely balloon i'm gonna get a final beautiful message for you from your spirit team to inspire you and give you motivation if you're still watching it's going to be your treat <laughs> they're very hard to shuffle these beautiful cards 
Ooh, I love those colors. Those colors are the heart chakra colors, greenish and um, pink. So, and I see hearts here. So this is about healing your heart, healing your wounded heart. How do you heal it? By, you know, accepting the pain, as I told you. Your intuition constantly senses the voice of spirit and conveys this through emotion and feeling. Spirit's great love and wisdom continuously flows through you like a stream of soft diamond light, bright future. Stop for a moment and feel this beautiful flow of energy. Allow it to permeate every part of you. You and spirit are one, entwined by invisible threads of love. The invisible thread of love. Look, someone is always with you. Someone always loves you. You can't see it, but they're always with you. And trust that these energies are already flowing, okay? Allow all of your emotions, the good and especially the bad ones, and it's happening for you. It's happening. And you're going to reach something very, very big very, very soon. So just trust and believe. I hope you made it till the end. Love you so much if you did. Please leave a thumbs up if that's the case. Take very good care and I hope I'll see you in the next reading. Bye. Welcome to your reading group number three. Everyone who resonated with the strength card and this um, yellow quartz crescent moon. <laughs> Sorry, that took me a while. So we are about to channel and connect with your spirit team, your angels, your guides, ancestors, and your higher selves to find out when your struggles and pain will finally end and what you can do to make it faster and what you can learn from it all. Just know that this is a reading for the collective, so not every single detail might resonate with you. Only take what does, feel peaceful about what doesn't, it will be for someone else. Let's get into it. For some reason, I feel like I'm being watched um, or listened to. There is one of you in the audience who chose this pile who is very, I don't know, you have quite an, um, a powerful energetic presence and you might know me. Okay, I read my viewers' energies as well, especially if they open up to me. And I literally see someone like sitting in front of me, looking me in the eyes and you're probably male. Okay, <laughs> just needed to say that. Um, but guys, all of you, please open up your energies to me. I'll be doing this for your highest good. Open up your energies to source. Time and space are irrelevant. This is going to work. Um, I love how beautiful this card is with the ship, yeah, with the boat. It's actually a little boat in this ocean. And while it looks quite intimidating, it looks very, very whimsical for some reason to me so um you've had to be very very strong in your life and very courageous all right and storms have been hitting you all the time but you are a mighty sailor okay you you got this and while you might not have the best equipment and while you might be the only one on this boat you don't have a huge team you are still a, a powerful captain, okay? And your spirit guides are quite humorous. I love them. So they do take you seriously, your pains and your fears, but they have a great sense of humor. And this could also be your energy while you've had it really tough, you know, you still never lost your sense of humor. And I'm the same, okay? So kudos to you if you're like that. Um, laughter helps. Why does it help? Because it literally releases endorphins in your body that, that make you happy. Okay. And it also, you know, lifts up your spirit. So um, that saying, the first message is that you don't take these big waves so seriously. Don't take everything so seriously. If you look at them from a different perspective, those things aren't so intimidating, okay? And if you pay attention and look back on your journey, you have always overcome every storm or else you wouldn't be here, of course. Um, it shaped you, but you're still here. You're still going strong. And um, your life is quite um, quite a roller coaster, or like it's never been boring. There's always something happening, always some drama. You might have a lot of people around you who also go through drama, um, but you're safe, you're fine. You're fine, just go with the flow, accept the ups and downs and don't be scared. There is nothing to be scared of is what they're saying. And um, I don't know why I love this card so much. Um, 
Yeah, there is something about happiness and inner child energy. So if you struggle, do something for your inner child. It's going to do wonders. Um, the sun is coming out for you a little bit. So that is confirmation to see things in a different way and to be more lighthearted. I know that's asking a lot, but... Um, you know, you can do it. You can make sure that you find your little moments of happiness and that you still find something to laugh about. It will help so much. Your guides approve. And um, this looks like a little boat almost. So yellow, the color yellow will be your friend in this. When you feel like things get too dark and gloomy, wear something yellow, get some yellow flowers, a yellow quartz, yellow. Yellow is the color of happiness. It's going to help you so much. And I'm getting that um, you guys, you are probably quite optimistic and positive people, even if things get, you know, really rough and tough. You have optimism. And if, if you really don't, then maybe your guides are telling you you should be more optimistic. Not compulsively so, but, you know, to just be confident, have confidence. They're cheering you on. And we're going to find out more details by using these uh, tarot cards. I'm going to get back to the lovely Oracle deck in a minute. Thank you, Diane, for sending that to me. Love you. And if anyone else would like to send in some cards or crystals, I have an Amazon wishlist link down below. But let's ask Spirit. So when will the drama end? I'm hearing for some of you, you're going through some drama involving other people right now. Uh, for the rest, when will this uh, struggle end? I'm also hearing tests, like you feel like, life tests you all the time or this is a test or something when will it end and what can be done please spirit team oh the star love that for you so all is good it's all good in the hood i'm hearing that might be something that you resonate with it's all good it's all good don't worry i got you is what someone's saying and that why are your guides so humorous they have a great sense of humor this could also be a deceased loved one watching over you right now someone here is like really is a jokester here and again, it doesn't mean that they do not have any empathy for you or that they don't recognize how scary things can get for you and how overwhelming. They just know that you'll be fine. They see things from a different perspective. It's like parents who witness that child struggling and being scared um, at the dentist. The parents know that this is for the children's, for the child's health. And they know the dentist is not going to do anything harmful, but the child doesn't. So it's kind of that situation. You can't really see how this is something that's supposed to be good for you or how this is going to have a positive outcome. But your guides, I'm just going to call them that, no. And um, some magical solution is going to um, be brought to you. Magical solution. You might, though, have to be a bit patient for this, okay? Patience. So... It might continue like that for a little while. And this is probably not what you want to hear, but I always say the truth. So you might have to have some patience for this. But a positive outcome is guaranteed or else your spirit team wouldn't be having a good time there. Okay, so it's, you're going to get there and they're going to help you, but you might have to be patient. The Ace of Swords love this look this looks like a guide to me and they are holding a key and um yeah you have to i don't know what um star sign you are and it doesn't matter it's all about energies you have to get into your capricorn energies okay so be tenacious be consistent focus on a goal okay and don't allow for that goal to be too far-fetched or too high for you to reach your goal should be i'm going to take things step by step i'm going to make sure i look after myself after my body mind and soul and i'm not going to give up and that's the key to success is endurance so just endure this storm and you're going to get to safety it's like when you are struggling now and you are out on the ocean and a storm hits you and there's huge waves and you are afraid of monsters um, down below in the seas and, and rain and thunder and lightning 
you're going to get through it. Just be courageous, stay strong because you're going to land on Paradise Island at some point and um, you're not alone. I wonder what this key is about. I feel like they want to give you a message. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. This is obviously my channel theme here and on the other one as well. Wheel of Fortune. She's holding um, a clock. She is the clock. Um, and the heart. So some of you, you might be looking for love or fulfilling relationship. It's going to happen for you in divine timing. And I don't know what you're looking for. I don't know what your paradise island would be if you imagine yourselves now in... a turbulence what would it be okay that you want to um see and where you want to land it's all tied to divine timing and so many different things so we make karmic soul contracts before we incarnate okay we choose to go through hardships we choose every person that we encounter people who give us a good and a bad time and so all of these little things here these little wheels need to you know work on their own but together at the same time so just trust that you will get to safety when the time comes and i know how frustrating that is um but i'm getting a message that for some of you something might happen very quickly and this will not resonate with a large group but i need to say it so you might meet a person that you fall in love with so maybe a romantic partner or a good friend or something or family member they come back to you and they will help you through this so you will get some support or maybe it's a pet okay a pet friend you will get someone who gives you motivation and those little moments of laughter and joy um so that you can reach the full end of your struggle and pain but please trust in the divine plan and in your karmic life plan it's all going to happen when it's supposed to and i know how frustrating this is but it's just coming through can we can we get a little bit of a timeline here for group number three please when will it end can you give hints it's just difficult because so many people who have free will are involved in this that it's gonna be difficult to pinpoint ah do you guys come from group number one where i told you to watch group number three as well or did I say that in group number two? I don't know. But um, this is for those of you who also watch group number one. You're getting there. And when it happens, you will say it happened faster than expected. So it's not like you're going to have to go through this for, for years and years. Again, it feels like it could be around the 10, 7 to 10 month mark from here. Okay, this reading is timeless. So whenever that is 7 to 10 months from now. It's going to happen. That might be a long, long time for those of you impatient, but just trust the divine plan. And when it happens, you're going to be like, wow, that went faster than I thought. And it's all happening not to you, but for you. So trust, trust the process. This is the nine of pentacles um, in the reverse. So many of you, you could be uh, females if you're a man, you're just in that feminine energy um, who want to be independent. So maybe you want to move away from a rocky home situation where you hate the people you live with, your family, they trigger you. Or maybe it's your neighborhood or your country. Um, maybe you want to, um, you know, graduate or get a certain job or, you know, you want independence. You want to be the creator of your own reality, which should be an abundant one. You want to have um, health and happiness and all that good stuff. Okay, but the time has not yet come. You still need to wait for things to fall into place for you. So please allow that time and trust that it's worth the wait. And if you do, you know, your your crown, she's wearing this food basket crown, is going to be filled with all the good stuff. And it's all going to be because of your endurance consistency and patience so you need to be a little bit patient but you're gonna have it and i'm gonna leave it in the upright to manifest that abundance for you because it did come out in the reverse that's just a reminder that um you need to be a little bit patient but trust the plan it's gonna be so awesome so if you push for it you know it's not gonna be that awesome or you might not have it at all 
you're still watching please please leave a thumbs up it helps so much and comments help so much as well so if you don't know what to say then please just drop a purple heart or a boat emoji and if you are new and would like to join the purple heart tribe please subscribe oh, i don't know yeah record okay so again this is written in the akashic records watch that reading it's on my channel akashic records reading it will give you a lot of answers you know the reason that you're not independent and where you want to be is because in your karmic lifetime you still have to go through this storm so be strong but trust that the good stuff is coming because that is also in your karmic contract and look into astrology it will give you a lot of answers trust that it's trust the process just trust the process okay and i'm seeing a window um for some of you this could be um that you want to study at a certain university and you haven't been accepted yet but you will maybe somewhere else and that's where you truly are meant to be okay so if you get rejected somewhere know that that happens for a reason because something or someone better is waiting patience <laughs> told you guys you need to be patient but trust that your cup is going to be filled look at all that magic that is coming here from the universe you're going to be feeling so fulfilled so full so abundant so amazing it's coming the good stuff is coming but you need to wait for things to fall into place for you and for the right people to be there at the right time if you push it you're gonna ruin it forgive i had that same card in uh, the same position i believe in group number two um so forgive the storm for being there and say it happens for a reason that's gonna unlock so much magic for you if you stop hating your obstacles if you stop hating i know how frustrating those can be and how this will probably trigger you but don't hate on the things that get in your way because they are there to keep you from going off track okay you are on the right track you are going into the right direction and it's gonna get you somewhere amazing just trust and believe trust trust the process i want to give you a final um, message from your lovely spirit team here to give you motivation and to help you endure and uh, be patient i know how hard it is to be patient I feel like this is the card that we should take for you. You might look a little bit like her. Um, I see rainbows around her. So uh, rainbows might be a sign for you. Also, I just, the saying goes, feathers appear when angels are near. But for you, it might be rainbows appear when angels are near. So watch out for the rainbows. You're going to have that rainbow moment after the storm. Just trust and believe. And just be a little bit more grounded and um, connect more with your guides and, you know, focus on your third eye as well. It's going to help you understand why you have to wait. Meditation allows you to enter the inner realm of your soul. It is spiritual communion with your true self and all creation. You may think that there are far more important issues to attend to at this time, but meditation would help you greatly. It could have a positive influence on every area of your life, including your career and relationships, guys. So if you are desperately wanting um abundance in your career and relationships stop pushing stop doing the toxic manifestation that everyone preaches about on social media meditate connect with your team and trust that it hasn't happened for you because you need to wait for things to fall into place for you in divine timing and this person who's going to help you okay they're not ready yet so wait for them and trust I hope you can do that and I hope you watched until the end. If you're still here, then please leave a thumbs up. Take very good care and I hope I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.